Hello everyone and we are back with another demo and this demo is on group managed service account. So the objective of this demo is that we would first create a new group managed service account and we would then see how we assign it to a service, uh, see if it works properly with the service and then we would evict the node from the GMS set. Now group, group managed service accounts is a new feature in Windows Server 2012. And normally when I go on site with customers and I ask them, okay, uh, why have you assigned a user account to a service and you have clicked on password never expire? So the answer which I get from them normally is that we have no other option because if we go manually on the service after 30 days and change the password, that means there would be service downtime and our company policy says no downtime. Now, so the answer to them is to use this new feature which is group managed service accounts and I would waste no time and jump into the demo right away. So what I have over here is I have a Windows Server 2012 domain controller which is clone one and I've got a node over here which is a member server and is not a domain controller clone three. So what I'm doing right now is that before the demo what I've done is I've created a share by the name of service share over here on clone one and I've gone ahead and installed a service over here and the spelling is wrong and the name of the service is GMSA test service. So what I'm doing right now is that if I restart this GMSA test service I would see that it creates a log file over here and say, it says that the log file is created by NT authority system which is it's running under the local system account which we can see over here on the right this one so it shows over here that who is writing this uh, who is responsible for writing this log file now what I'll do from here is that I would open PowerShell module for Active Directory. Okay, so before I jump onto this, I have written the detailed steps in the background. So let us follow the same steps which I have written so that it's easier for you to follow. So the first step which I will do is I will open Active Directory users and computers and I would create a test group. So let me go inside the test 1OU. I would create a new group and the group goes by the name of test group. Okay, so it goes like this. So we have created a new group by the name of test group. Okay, now the first step is done. The second step is to verify the test service. And we have already done that by restarting the service and we see that uh, the log file is created and the log file is created by the name of the local system account which is creating that. Now we are do what we have to do is to enable GMSA to work we need to first add the root key. So this root key would be used to uh, would be used to encrypt the password of the GMSA and this root key needs to be created on uh, the KDS okay so what I will do is I would say add dash KDS root key minus effective time now I'm doing a hack over here which I would recommend you do not do this in your environment and production and give it sufficient time to replicate before you move on with creating GMSAs. So once you add a root key, it normally takes 10 hours to be exact. And after 10 hours, you can use the GMSAs. But if it's like in my lab and I do not want to wait for 10 hours, so I will write this. So I will say get dash date. And then I would say add hours I hope the spelling is correct and I would say get the time from now subtract 10 out of it so 
so eventually what i am doing is i am creating a root key so the computer would understand that the root key was created 10 hours earlier which means that now it's effective for me to be used okay so right now in the background the root key is created and we are all good to go so now the task which i need to perform is new i would create a new ad service account and i would name it gmsa cct 01 i would give a dns host name which would be test group dot puzzle dot com minus principal allowed to retrieve password manage so this thing this step is very important and i would like to pause and explain this over here so what we are saying is that create a new service account by this name the dns host name which would be used to access this service account would be this and the people who would be allowed to get the password for this service account should be member of this test group now i am giving the service principal names which we call the spns is http backslash uh the name of this server is let me see zone dash 1 HTTP backslash clone dash one dot puzzle dot com. Okay. So what we have done over here is we have created a managed service account and it shows over here. Okay. Now that we have done the creation of managed service accounts, we would use this MSA. Uh, GMSA. Now, to use this GMSA, we come back to this member server where the service is installed. And before you go on and start using your GMSA, and you plan to install that GMSA, you need to first run this commandlet to verify if this GMSA would work on this member server or not. So what we do is we assign a name and as soon as we press it it says an error and it says the GMSA so the summary of this is you can read this now we get an error warning and it says that you are not allowed to retrieve the password for this GMSA and the reason is pretty simple because we have created the group and we have not added this machine account to get the password of the gmsa so what we do is we go into the test group click on members we click on add we click on computers and we assign the name of the machine which is clone 3 now what we need to remember is if i come here again and run the same commandlet it would still not work because the group membership is only updated when so if it's for a user you need to log off and log in if it's for a machine you need to restart the machine so what we it's if it's for a computer account i mean so what i'm doing right now is i'll pause the recording i'll restart it and as soon as it comes back we going to look at uh, the next thing okay so we are back here the machine has restarted i've logged in now i would run the same commandlet ad service account gmsa ccp 
I run the same commandlet and now it says that it has been validated which means it is now ready and we can install the GMSA service account over here. So what I will do is I will open services.msc again. I would go to the GMSA service account. I click on log on. I click on this account. I change the location to look into active directory. Let's skip the name for the GMSA. And the important part is, and most of my customers, the mistake which they make is that they forget to give the dollar sign, which is very important. I click apply. So it says the account has been granted log on as service price. Now what I will do is I will restart this account, uh, this service over here. And what we are looking for is on clone one on the same location, another file would be created and it would tell us who created that file and this service is running under which account now. I click on this and it tells you that this was created by GMSA, which is perfect. Now let us imagine a scenario where we have to go and evict a member from the GMSA node. Now GMSAs can be used on multiple machine accounts. This was not the feature in managed service accounts. And let's say one of my machine got compromised or due to some reason, due to maintenance, I need to shut it down. So I need, this means that I need to uh, evict the managed service account from that uh, GMSA. Evict a member of the node from that GMSA. So what I will do is, the first step would be to uninstall the ED service account. And the important part is, and most of my customers, they fall into this mistake that instead of running this, they run remove the ED service account. So if you run that command, it, the account would be deleted from Active Directory as well. So make sure you just run uninstall the ED service account. And the name is GMSA A. ACCT01. Now, this command is run successfully. Now, the second part which we need to do, and it is the most important part, is this one. That we need to remove this member from this test group because any user or, or, or let, let me say any computer which is a member of this test group would has the permission to get the password for this GMSA. Now, once this step is completed, the only thing which we need to do is restart this machine, which I'm doing right now. Once this machine has been restarted, we would come back again, run the same uh, commandlet, which says test-ad service account, and we will give the name of the GMSA. And as soon as we do that, we will see that warning appear again. Because now this user, this machine is not the member of this group, which means it does not have the authority to retrieve the password for the GMSA. So I will pause the recording and I would continue it once the machine has uh, logged in. Okay, so I just logged in back to this machine. And what I will do now is I will again open PowerShell. In the background, what PowerShell is doing right now is uh, it's it's launched PowerShell and it runs the commandlet import dash Active Directory module. So it's importing that module so that all the Active Directory related commandlets is available for us. So as soon as it does that, what we will do is again we will type the test dash ad service account commandlet. We'll just wait for a second and. Let's see when it loads up and we are almost done. So I type test dash ad service account and I'll give the name of gmsaacct01 and we should get the error. Wonderful. And our demo is complete. 
so i would like to thank you for doing this demo and i hope this was helpful